Hey guys, welcome back. It is, it's time. It's the recap time. We're going to try and do the recaps when we can on the day that the the next stream is happening. So uh, yeah, look forward to that tonight. Uh, if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, uh, tonight we'll be doing a uh, an Aerodactyl hunt of sorts. I guess we'll call it an Aerodactyl hunt because uh, I pulled the, the Tina a couple times now. Aerodactyl is still nowhere to be found. We got a bunch of Lost Origin build and battle booster boxes. I, they're not booster boxes, build and battle boxes, but they get boosters in them. Booster box, I don't know. Anyway, we got some cases of those. We're going to go through those, <clears throat> see if we can't pull that uh, that Aerodactyl, the very elusive Aerodactyl. No, it's not any more rare than the other stuff, but, you, you know, we we should try to pull it, right? Should at least give it a give it a try. Surely it won't be as bad as anything like a a moon, moon fox, cat, dog, um... That, uh, that was uh, so very elusive. All right, so last week, what did we do? What did we do? If you missed out on it, if you just want to see the hits because you watched part of it, if you just want to see the hits because you watched all of it, that's what we're looking at right now. We got uh, two cards that I've opened that I needed. The rest didn't need. Feels bad. Feels real bad. But I, I do like that. That Vulpix. We got Vulpix. The Vulpix butt. And the Path to the Peak. Love the... Uh, the stadium cards with the uh, the the Pokemon, golden Pokemon, kind of just hidden there somewhere. Uh, opened tw 10, 20 total, 10 of the uh, Clara boxes, the milk cartons, and uh, 10 of the Cyrus cartons. Um, pretty good product. I, again, one of my favorite products, um, mostly due to the fact that the, the contents, it's, they're nice and compact. There's not a lot of waste. There's not a lot of garbage. Um, when you're opening a lot of Pokemon, you really notice the garbage. I'm sure even anyone that gets like the promo boxes that have all the inserts, the plastic, the wrap, the box, the, the sometimes there's tins inside. Sometimes sometimes there's like eight layers of, of unnecessary garbage. Um, not the milk. The milk is just compact. Seven packs. Your deck box. Your sleeves. Your dice. Is there dice? Yeah, there's dice and and a coin. Um, promos, love the promos, Lo gotta love the promos, I wish they would have done all the signed cards that way, uh, but regardless, we opened 10 of each of those, I've seen them go up for a good deal recently, uh, I think they're a little bit slept on, I think they're they're an awesome product, I wish we could, we had seen more of them, um, uh, instead of like Crown Zenith having those signed cards in them, uh, something like that, but Regardless, here's the uh, the two cards that we we obtained that we need. We'll be putting those into the binder later on. We'll check them off as well. We might as well. We'll, we'll, we'll give them the, the little checkbox. Um, I do need to bring up... <clears throat> I do need to bring up and did not bring up my list of, uh, list of numbers. Here it is. We got it. We don't got it. It's on a different sheet. We're, stay tuned. Don't leave me. All right, here we go. <clears throat> also, <clears throat> seem to be losing my voice. Apologies for that. Hopefully that does not happen tonight. I will have to do some uh, some voice exercises or something before the stream. All right, Vs. We got 14 of them. Um, all right, so uh, again, with 20 milk cartons, 10 Cyrus, 10 Clara, 7 packs in each, 140 packs total. We got 14 Vs, a lot of Vs. Sometimes you hit a lot of Vs. Sometimes you don't hit a lot of Vs. Same with like the V Maxes. The Lugias are pretty sick. Um, I don't know if those are still worth anything. I would imagine that probably probably are. I don't think there was any promo. There were no promo Lugias, which is kind of surprising. You would think that they would have pumped some of those, um, but uh, apparently not. We'll put our Vs down here, um, all scatter like. We get um, V Maxes and V Stars, which I kind of think are like the same rarity depending on the set. Uh, they're probably in the same the same camp. You got a textured. Uh, evolution of a V, essentially. Um, so it would it would kind of surprise me if the the pull rates were were any different on those. I'm sure like sometimes it feels like there are even if there's like certain sets that have both V maxes and Vs in them. Um, but uh, but yeah, all right. Let's get the, these guys up here on the top. They're double sleeved already because they're they're going on the binder for sure. Um, I don't have a better. I don't have any copy of those two. Uh, so the, those are. Those are those are the binder boys. Those are the ones we're gonna put put in there later. Um, I'll also look through if I'm if I'm going through the set binders uh, to see if any of the um, the centering or the the cards are in better shape than than some of the other stuff, especially on like the the higher end higher end kind of things. Um, all right, so four V star slash V max, two of each. Uh, we have four full arts. 
Uh, lucky for us, the one of this, the uh, the Charizard V, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think Fitz needs that one for his binder, so that's going that's going to him. Um, Superior, very cool Pokemon, underrated Pokemon. We got the Verizian. Man, Verizian, Verizian's been in a lot of sets. I think more so than the other the other dudes. The other I can't even remember what the name is for that that gang of of doggos, legendary, mythical dogs. <clears throat> All right, now Rainbow, Rainbow time. We got two hypers, one Pokemon and one trainer. Uh, the Arceus, which is pretty, pretty dang cool. Got to like that. And gold cards, the Lugia. Um, I got very excited when I pulled this because I thought this was one that I needed, but it wasn't. I needed the uh, the Rainbow one and the and the full art Lugia. Unfortunately, not the gold one. Um, and uh, for some reason, it's the only. The Lugia is the only alt art that I'm able to pull for whatever reason um, from uh, from Silver Tempest. The other alt arts, nowhere to be found. I opened a jillion packs, and sometimes it happens. It's hard to pull stuff. Sometimes you pull a lot of it. Sometimes you pull none of it, but some it, it all evens out. Even You know what's bad? When, when the sample sizes that I'm dealing with here uh, don't produce kind of like even results. So like anyone that's expecting... Um, to see trends in whatever amount of packs that they're opening that's less than that, I, I got bad news for you. There's there's not much there. All right. Uh, two golds. I guess two golds because we, uh, we got him and the Path to the Peak. There's the fourth uh, full art. We just have that separated off. We did get the Breakdancing Genesect, which is pretty damn cool. Um, unfortunately, I already pulled this recently in the, uh, the openings. The... Uh, um, I don't know what you're going to call them. The, the Fusion Strike Mega openings that we did. We got Radiance for days. Seven Radiance, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of Serenas. We got, we got a whole play set of Serenas other than the fact that you can't play more than one Radiant card. Uh, so that, that doesn't really work. That doesn't help us. Slap these bad boys down. And then we got Trainer Gallery. My favorite. My personal favorite. The best cards that ever existed. Trainer Gallery. All right. We got 14 Baby Trainer Gallery, which is very cool. Very above um, average, I would think, from what we got. The Phalanx, again, one of my favorite cards. If you watched that recent Pokemon card art spotlight, you'll know that. You already know. You know. If you know, you know. Uh, Mayena. We got the Jolteon. Those evolutions are, are pretty sick. Um, again, I don't, we opened Brilliant, but... Uh, I have the entire set, so that's not uh, that wasn't a good idea. But regardless, it's cool to get uh, some spares of those like evolutions. Um, I think like long term, people are really going to want these. They're going to they're going to realize these things. These are sick. Maybe things get more sick to the point that people don't want that. But I can't see it happening. We got a smeargle. Love that artwork. Very cool. Doing the doing the arts. Uh, we got an orang. Was there another orangaroo earlier on? Did we get two orangaroos? Am I losing my mind? Probably. Rayquaza. We got the gold Rayquaza V Max. Um, again, I, 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 not many people like these. Or maybe, do you think they will? Will they eventually? Are people going to be like, oh, remember those golden black cards? Those were sick, nasty. I don't know. It's weird. I would think that uh, that would be something people like, but maybe there's just so much other cool stuff uh, that it's diluted in coolness. And then we got the big boy trainer gallery, Shadow Rider, Calyrex V. All right, let's do some math before we get to checking stuff off and putting in the binder. We got 50 hits total that we're looking at on the screen here. If you're not blinded by that, I didn't turn the overhead light off. Um, my apologies. You're going to have to deal with the blinding glare that is uh, these sleeves and cards and, and, and lights. 50 hits in 140 packs, 50 divided by 140 gives us 0.36. So 36% of the packs that we opened had a hit in them. If we multiply that 0.36 by 36 packs to see what our per box average would be, we get 12.96, which is, that's damn juicy. That is some juicy hitness. Uh, that is, uh, uh, that's above average even for stuff with the trainer gallery in it. Um, I'd say, um, and everything, well, everything that we opened other than Fusion Strike, which was 20 of those 140 packs, had Trainer Gallery and, and, and you know, or Radiance and or Radiance to, to bring bring the hits per pack up. Um, 
to some extent. So you got to keep that in mind uh, when you're when you're dealing with that stuff. You got to keep it in mind, like especially if you're opening a small sample size, if you're opening ten packs, if you're opening twenty packs or something um, of those older sets, that's gonna feel a whole lot worse usually uh, than it is uh, the the newer stuff. So keep that in mind. Let's get on into the 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 check the check box. Let's check it off. Let's check it off our list. The, let's check these off our list. Okay, here we are. We're on the old Poe Collector. Uh, we can click Include Variants here to see what we got, see everything that we're missing. Uh, so we're going to go with Silver Tempest first. Silver Tempest, uh, we didn't get anything from Trainer Gallery. Still missing two of those. Uh, I guess we can go in and take a look at the Trainer Gallery for these two sets that we're going to be going to be uh, adding to. So again, missing the Lugia. Missing all three of the alt arts that aren't the Lugia. Um, I do have the Brandon and the Lance on the way. Um... And missing the same kind of the same characters in the, the hyper rare format, which is a little, little interesting. I do. I, I'm pretty sure I have the the Rapidash and the Archaeops non hollows. I'm gonna have to check the back of the binder for that because if I do have them, I'm gonna check them off. But I think maybe they just weren't on Poke Collector at the time when I, when I was checking things off. So we got the Vulpix, very cool. Let's go down to Silver Tempest Trainer Gallery just because I know someone's gonna ask which ones are you missing, and I'm not gonna remember. But it's the Cricketoon B and the Corviknight B Max. We still need those bad boys. Unfortunately, did not pull them. Uh, and then we got Astral Raid, Astral Radiance. What do we got? We had 24 cards missing. That's pretty. That's pretty wild. Uh, did open a lot of that set. We got Path to the Peak. Still missing the Gold Gold Sammy. Interesting. Uh, but uh, yeah. The, oh, I guess there we go. There you, you guys can see the the entire thing now. We're missing too many cards. It's it's taking up too much real estate on the screen. Uh, but you know what? It's it's gonna be all right. I kind of really don't like that the, the trainer gallery is in like its own separate list. To me, I think it should probably be in the same list at the end. But teach their own. That's what they did. That's how they did it. I guess that's the the end of it. Nessa, both uh, Eternatus really doesn't like me apparently. Uh, this Orbital V Max is pretty awesome. Need need to pick these up. They're probably not that expensive. Um, oh, we're in lost. We're, oh, we're in lost origin. Did I click on the wrong thing? Astral radiance. There we go. Astral Ra I'm, that's tonight. I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't pay attention to that lost origin trainer gallery. I don't know how I clicked on the wrong one, but I did. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, anyway, we we only need the the TG eighteen and the TG twenty three from Astral Radiance. The Cynthia Garchomp and the. Unfortunately, we got the we got we almost got the Cali Rex, but we got the V instead of the V Max, which is a little unfortunate. All right, let's get the binders out, slap some babies, some cards into those, and uh, and we'll call it a video. The binders. All right, the binders. You guys have probably seen both of these recently, mostly because I didn't have any twelve slot binders for a little while there. But uh, we we got the restock, uh, and now we're we're ready to to load it up. We got the Venonats, we got the Venomoths. We won't go through each Pokemon here, but I do want to uh, flip through. I think this is a good chance uh, for uh, anyone that wants to take a look at these. If you don't want to take a look at them and you just want to see that card inserted, you're going to have to skip ahead real quick, like, uh, and uh, that's always an option. I know we've seen these recently on the streams where I was filling the binders out in their entirety. Uh, I think I do have all the reverses at this point in time, so that's... Uh, that's kind of satisfying to look at, but uh, but yeah, it's a, it, man. Sets they do they do something for me. Complete sets, the feeling of just like getting that that much closer to like having the entire set. That's everything that can possibly come out of a booster pack. I think that's just like so much more satisfying than like a sealed product, or uh, or or even like collecting just the ones that you want. Oh my god, I mix I'm miss, missing the toxic rogue here. I lied. Guys, I'm missing the Toxic Croak. I thought I had that. Maybe I do, and maybe I have it checked off, but I don't. Um, I don't have it in the binder yet. I'm gonna have to make a mental mental note of that Toxic Croak. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I I think I I think I purchased it or traded for it. Maybe question mark. All right. We got the, there's the Lugia and the Ho-Oh. Unfortunately, Ho-Oh didn't get, the, like, the V-Star treatment. Would have been cool if he did. Uh, and the Altar treatment. I think there's a lot of people that are just like, I don't like Silver Tempest. It's only, the only thing it's got going for it is the Lugia. And I don't really like the Lugia. But, I don't know, I think you're crazy. I think the Lugia is beautiful. Um, I think you're... 
I find it very hard to believe that anyone like really dislikes the Lugia art. I get that maybe you don't think it's as cool as some of the other stuff. We've got 173 here next to the Reshiram. Pardon my tilting the binder. That's mostly just because uh, it's kind of hard to see. But uh, but yeah, I don't, it's uh, it's a like how how do you really how do you hate that? I don't think you can hate that. I think you're I think you just you just don't like the the hype the hype around it the uh, the Lugia maybe the Lugia fanboys are getting to you a little bit. Um, all right, here we have it again. The overhead light is on, so excuse the glare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that a little bit. We, we I did play with some uh, of the like shutters or whatever on my my lighting. Uh, to try and have less of it coming straight down onto the page here. Um, but uh, currently, even that needs a little bit more work. Again, probably my second favorite card ever in existence. That superior is really cool. Um, it's hard to tell on camera through the sleeves and through you know, the binder page. Uh, but the texture is absolutely crazy. Love the, love the whole scenery aspect going around, going on on it. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome card. Uh, these, like, Zinnia Rayquazas are also pretty sick. Um, again, Trainer Gallery, definitely my favorite stuff. I had somebody in the uh, the stream yesterday, the Binder stream yesterday, asking what my favorite, like, rarity was. Definitely Trainer trainer Gallery. We don't have any. I guess I don't have. So I was asking. I don't have the Rapid Ash and the, the Archeops, non hollows in here. I do have copies of it, so I'll have to... I'll have to grab those and stick those in there. That'll be a later thing. That'll be a later rattle task. I'll have to make a note of it so I don't forget to do so. Uh, that'll be easy. I don't know why I didn't have them set aside. It's kind of weird. I did open lots of the uh, the building battles. Uh, I think that's what they were from. Probably what they were from. All right, now <clears throat> we got to get our Astral Raid. Astral Raid on. We'll quickly flip through this bad boy. Quickly flip through this bad boy. Give it a little back and forth action. I need to have like the perfect distance and setup so that uh, it can show the entire binder, but I still want it to be like cl closer, so it's hard to do. Hard to do with these uh, these wide boy, well page binders. You get everything on screen at once without like. Without zooming way out, and then you kind of lose the ability to see what's going on, I would think. I guess depending on what you're watching on. If you're watching on a smaller screen, probably hard to tell what's going on. Uh, if you're watching on a, a big boy, super mega, extreme, 80-inch master TV, then maybe it's a different story. But um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, how, it, uh, how it evolves. How it, what, what makes it easier to? Shifting back and forth could be easier. The, the lighting could be better. We'll work on it. We'll, we'll get it tuned in, dialed in, uh, and then we'll look back at the older videos and streams and stuff like that and, and be like, what is going on here? Can't see a thing. What is Rattle doing? What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. All right. We're getting there. We're in the trainers. We're in the trainers. Always always in the trainers, guys. You got to be in the trainers. Um, doing good there. Um, man, the, uh, man, the bee drill. I remember when I first saw that. The thing is sick. The Machamp is also sick. The Lilligant, pretty cool. Um, Palkia, man. The Palkia is like, for whatever reason, that Palkia. I pull that Palkia every day, all day, all the way. Get the Sneasler, also pretty cool artwork. Uh, the Alt Arts, again, just amazing. Amazing cards. Awesome stuff. Uh, there's a reason why everyone likes them. Um, other than the fact that, you know, they're valuable and everyone wants them. That, that definitely plays a role in it. Don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, you see, there's, there's already some of the alt arts that have kind of, like, fallen off because people forgot about them. They're not the, the cool new um, fav crowd favorite, fan favorite Pokemon uh, necessarily. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We messed up here. Yeah, I'm missing a ton of stuff at the back side of this. Um, Astral Radiance. We got number 213, which is going right there. Path to the Peak. Again, I love the the little like featured featured Pokemon. We got the Bidoof there on the Jubilee Village. Um, just cool little cool little touch for them to add on those uh, those those stadium cards to make them feel a little bit a uh, little bit better, little little bit uh, more Pokemon related rather than just like a a building. 
or a wall or a, or a forest or whatever. All right, we got it. We are done putting the cards away. I will go and check and see if I have like stuff that's like poorly centered. But uh, but yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in to another one of these. Thanks for tuning in tonight to the Aerodactyl Hunt. We got PSAPikachu.com. Guys, another little warning. PSAPikachu.com is running out of booster boxes for Paldea Evolved on release. If you're looking at getting one, now's probably the time. You probably want to do that. Um, no code required. Just the cheapest price is always the price on the website. For anyone that's wondering, uh, that was watching the old videos. And then uh, that's if you're in the U.S. If you're in the U.S., PSAPikachu.com is in the U.S. Dose cards. .ca. If you're if you're in Canada, I got gotcha. you. Uh, and on those, you can use code Rattle Five for five percent off. Uh, they have the pre-orders up as well. Similar price. Uh, you can order if if there's something that you really want from PSAPikachu.com and you're in Canada, you can order it. But be aware there's there's import fees, so there isn't like going to be tax necessarily uh, when you make the purchase. But when you when when it comes to you, expect some kind of import fees and and duty taxes that kind of stuff. So very, very good to be aware about. See you guys tonight. See you in the Discord. Join the Discord. Get in there. Come on.